I told the team uh, these uh, values would be on the walls, but more importantly, they would operate in the halls. His CEO, who goes by the name of Cynthia, not goes by the name, her name is Cynthia Marshall, I suppose. Uh, she is big on DEI. And here is a video of her explaining why uh, and how she believes in DEI and what they should do about people who do not believe in diversity, equity, and inclusion. We wanted to also focus on emotional safety. And I told the team, uh, these uh, values would be on the walls, but more importantly, they would operate in the halls. And so then we went through a series of uh, sessions to really dig into those values and what it meant to have values-based employment uh, at the Dallas Mavericks. And then the 100-day plan was in four parts, and it was to model zero tolerance. Uh, so set up a hotline, complaint process, et cetera, do an investigation, purge what we needed to purge, uh, a MAVS women's agenda, so a very uh, descriptive agenda around elevating, empowering, and just educating women, uh, cultural transformation, which is all the things around diversity and inclusion, employee engagement, our employer resource group, just the things we needed to do uh, to institutionalize an inclusive culture. Um, and then operational effectiveness, basic things like market-based compensation, performance reviews, gender pay equity analysis, all that. So it was about 200 initiatives. Woo, lady, there is a lot there. Now, remember, this is the CEO of the Dallas Mavericks. Her job is to make the Dallas Mavericks basketball team as functional as possible, right? To win as much as possible, to make as much money as possible, to bring in the proper coach, the proper GM, have the entire structure there so they have the best freaking basketball team, so they sell out every game, so they have everyone watching, bring on the best players, selling jerseys, et cetera, et cetera. Everything she talked about there had nothing to do with that. My friend Pete Bogosian, who obviously has been on the show many times, he often talks about this, that once you allow diversity, equity, and inclusion into any company, your eye is off the ball. If your job is to sell widgets and suddenly you're deciding how many black salespeople you have and how many white janitors you have, you're not going to sell as many widgets. Well, now you see that as a institutionalized piece of what's going on uh, with the Dallas Mavericks. A couple things she talked about there. They're gonna have a series of sessions based on values-based employment. So it has less to do with, I don't know, the work that you do, the value that you create. It's gonna be about their values, which of course has something to do with race and racism. They're gonna have zero tolerance. I guess that means if someone accidentally misgenders somebody, zero tolerance, and a hotline. They also have a hotline that you can call to basically rat out your coworkers. Do we have a hotline like that here? There is a hotline. I've been uninformed about that hotline.